Hello YouTube, today I'm at Champion Chevrolet in Fowlerville, Michigan, taking a look at this redesigned 2021 Chevy Colorado. This particular one is a four-wheel drive crew cab LT model. It has a 3.6 liter V6 gas engine, and that is mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. So starting off up front are the, are the pretty big changes for this uh, year of vehicle. The grille has been updated. It looks very similar to the um, Chevy 25 and 3500 HD grills. And then you also have this new um, updated front fascia right here that is black, accent colored. Tow recovery hooks on both sides. Halogen fog lights are included on this model. Very beautiful summit white color. Coming around to the wheels. We have some Goodyear Wrangler, what are these, Fortitude HTs, and they are a 255, 65, 17. I love that Chevy gives you these plastic moldings right here to protect the rocker panels against uh, rock chips and then eventually corrosion. And then, I don't know if you can see right here, you have a really thick coat of paint. I believe Chevy calls that rock guard, and it even goes down onto the uh, pinch weld as well, which is awesome. And this again is to protect against chips and then corrosion. Your Colorado badge is right there. Chrome mirror caps chrome door handles as well. Again, this vehicle is 4x4, so your 4x4 badging is right there, which brings us to the back. Chevrolet is stamped into the tailgate now. You have your Colorado logo there, as well as your V6 emblem there. Backup camera is right here. Your standard seven pin and four pin trailer connectors, spare tire access point, very nice chrome bumper. And this bumper does have the steps to help get into the bed when the tailgate is down. Halogen taillights are right there. Over here we have your capless fuel fill port. Overall, very nice looking LT truck. This Summit White is very beautiful with the black accents up front. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting off over here on the driver's side, we have your child lock windows as well as your child lock door button right here. All of the window controls for the vehicle and the mirror controls. Over here we have the dimmer switch for the interior lights, the rotary dial um, switch for all of the exterior lights, and then your transfer case selection right here. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, fuel level and engine temperature up above the LCD screen, and then we do have a very nice LCD screen in the middle. Coming back to the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped with bolsters at 10 and two, which is very nice. Over here on this side, we have all of the cruise control buttons for this vehicle, as well as a heated steering wheel button right here. The heated steering wheel is on with this um, amber indicator right there, and now it is off. Over here we have your hands-free call buttons, and then right here we have the control pad for the center uh, LCD display. Just like on all Chevy General Motors vehicles, you have a seek or scan rocker on the back of the left side of the steering wheel, and a volume rocker on the back of the right side of the steering wheel. Even though this truck is an LT, it does come with the Bose Premium Audio Group. There is a shallow storage tray right here, which brings us down to the touchscreen display. Uh, this one is very responsive. Uh, it just looks absolutely beautiful. It's very elegant. This does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Again, it is very responsive even with this screen protector thing on from the dealership. Uh, it is also connected via 4G LTE, and there is a uh, nav feature available as well. So very cool. You can also control all of the uh, climate controls from the touch screen, which is sweet. Coming down here, we have all the physical controls for the audio, your volume knob, forward, backward, home, and back tab. This is your selection. Click it when you're browsing for a radio station. Down here we have the single zone climate control. It does get very cold very quick, which is very nice, especially on a hot day like today. Down here we have your uh, hazard light buttons, traction control off, cargo lamp, 
in tow haul mode. This vehicle does come equipped with um, heated driver and passenger seats. Little storage tray right here. Down here we have an SD card reader, auxiliary jack, and two USB ports, as well as a 12 volt outlet right here. Shallow storage tray again. Two cup holders, gear selection with manual plus and minus on the stock. Another storage compartment right here. Fold up this center armrest, giving us access to some storage as well. Here's a quick look at the cloth seats. Coming to the glove box, pretty big glove box for this size of vehicle. Vanity is halogen lit for passenger as well as driver. Up top, glasses storage right here. Uh, halogen dome map light controls. Airbag uh, on off uh, indicator. And then we have your auto dimming rear view mirror. Overall, pretty impressed. Uh, the, the major updates to this vehicle were the touchscreen display and the uh, exterior front fascia. So with that being said, let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So before I get in, I wanna point out, these seats do fold up. There is a little lever right here that you pull up on and you can fold the seat. I'm, I'm not gonna do it right now because I only have one hand, but there is storage under here and it uh, has a little plastic piece right here so that way it cannot be seen as well as there is a lip on the actual seat itself. To fold the seat back down, pull up on the lever and the seat will fold down, giving you storage underneath the seats. Getting up and in is very easy. With the seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have maybe maybe an inch or two of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. Uh, I am 5'11", if that helps anybody out there. Uh, there are no storage pouches on either driver or passenger seats. However, you do have two USB ports, a 12-volt outlet, and a storage tray right here. The center seat does fold down, giving you access to two cup holders. Grab handles and hanger hooks on both passenger and driver side. Up top, halogen dome map lights. And then coming back to the rear sliding window, it is manual, open, and close. Pretty standard. Let's take a look at the bed now. So the only way to open the tailgate on this vehicle is to actually come up to the bed and open it. It is assisted, which is very nice. This particular one does come with a spray and bed liner from the factory, which looks like it's very good quality. You do have one tie down in each of the corners of the bed. There's the Chevy logo right there. And then the cargo lamp is up top. Closing the bed, very easy. Two fingers and it's shut. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Uh, standard equipment is gonna be in this box right here. It's a 2021 Colorado four wheel drive LT crew cab with a standard vehicle price of $34,400. The optional equipment is gonna be in this rectangle right here for the total vehicle price or MSRP of $39,115. Fuel economy rating is right here. This vehicle is rated at 17 miles per gallon city, 24 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 19 miles per gallon. I wanna give Champion Chevrolet, located in Fowlerville, Michigan, a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in getting into a new 2021 Chevy Colorado, uh, this one in particular, or any of the trims, I will be leaving all of the contact info in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and a share. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.